guys, my name is Josh from the channel Sharpshooter JD and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I made this quick and easy stand for my Harbor Freight portable bandsaw. Really hope you guys enjoy! Alrighty, to get started here I'm going to take a 2x4 board and cut it into two 4 foot lengths using my sliding compound miter saw. Next I'm going to take a 2x6 and cut it to the same length as the 2x4s. After that I'm going to take all of my pieces, countersink some holes, and screw them all together. As you can see, I've spaced the 2x4s as far out as I could to give as much space in the center groove as possible. Next, I'm going to drill out some 3 8 inch holes into the top ends of my 2x4s, and I'm going to do this on the inner edge of the 2x4, and I'm going to be drilling these at an angle. These are the bolts that the handle of the portable bandsaw will slot into. Next I'm going to screw the stand as securely as possible into my workbench. Then I'm going to test fit the saw and as you can see it is still pretty wobbly in there. It's not very solid yet but I still decided to give it a quick test anyway, just to see how it would work. As you can see it works fine, but it's definitely not as solid as I wanted it, so I decided to cut some slots in the 2x4s using my Makita belt sander to hopefully get the bandsaw to slot into the 2x4s a little nicer and to hopefully give it some extra stability. As you can tell, this was a long and arduous process, so if you can get the 2x4 spaced a little bit wider to avoid having to sand these slots, then I would highly recommend it as it's going to save you a ton of time and effort. After that, I decided to add some extra stability to the stand by screwing it in to the foot of my workbench as well. And at this point, I'm going to fit the saw back in. And as you can see, it slots in there much nicer than it did before, and is as solid as I can possibly get it. So there you go, that is the completed stand for my Harbor Freight portable bandsaw. It's not the prettiest or the most stable stand in the world, but it works and it does its job, and I made it pretty much for free using reclaimed materials from my property. I have been using this stand for about a year now, and it's been working pretty great overall. I use it pretty much every day I'm in the shop, and uh, it's still going strong. I have made a few changes and improvements to it over the past year though, and I will be talking about those in a future video, as well as doing a quick review of this saw. If you guys are interested in that, that will be coming out shortly, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave me a like or a comment down below. And if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get notified of each new video I post. I will be posting a new video on this channel every two weeks and I'll be doing videos on some more shop projects and on metalworking projects and builds and tutorials and on primitive homemade weapons. So if you're interested in any of those things, you're really going to enjoy it here. Make sure you subscribe and uh, check back often to see new content. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.